coming to you from our first snorkeling um, we have been showing you a little of it already we're gonna show you some more and we'll be coming back out here about three more times this week this is Ka'alu'u Beach Park oh, and she said. <laughs> Harry has a little problems with Hawaiian but I'm not even saying it sure I'm saying it right I'm gonna have to go to my Hawaiian friends and say hey did I mess that up this little beach park has long been our favorite there are numerous places to set out your beach towel or you can grab a picnic bench, but the fish here are amazing. Like this black trigger swimming with the convict tings. The bright color of the yellow tings are a favorite and we saw them everywhere. There were several different types of butterfly fish and it became a game to see if we could figure out each one We've always called these rainbow fish, like the book, but they're actually pale-nosed parrotfish. Hey folks, so I'm done with my first round of uh, snorkeling. Kat's gonna take the camera and do hers. The difference is her mask actually holds the GoPro. I had to swim around with mine in hand. So we're gonna try to see, you know, which is better. Or not better, just, you know, what the difference is. That's all. We recommend water shoes for protection as you make your way in and out of the bay. Lava bites. Using this new camera setup was challenging. I saw a lot more than this angle picks up. In fact, most of the underwater footage you will see will be from Harry. Still, I was able to see the coral and some beautiful fish. And all I had to do was stand up to see views of the beach park, which were great. Our favorite fish here is the Huma Huma. It has a much longer Hawaiian name, but we know how great we are with that. Basically, it's another type of trigger fish. Anyway, we hope you are enjoying this. It's like swimming in our own little aquarium and we totally love it. Yep, it's really fun. More snorkeling, got a big surprise tonight. Oh yeah. So anyway, we'll see you in the next clip. More to come. All right, so we're headed out. Where are we going? Shave ice. <laughs> well, you can see why he has, where his priorities lie, right? What town are we going to? Holly. He's not even close, again. That's all right, guys. We are heading out. We're going to the north part of the island, doing a little bit of a tour up there. It's a shorter day today because we do have plans tonight. Um, we're going to go up there, see some beautiful views, and have lunch somewhere. So let's take you with us. So it was past the lava fields, hang a left towards the north, past more wild goats on our way to Javi. Feet, you arrive at your destination. Howie used to be a sugarcane town. Now it's better known as the turnaround spot for the annual Ironman race. It's galleries and great places to eat. All right, let's get some lunch. We're in downtown Howie. Well, we'll see if this is actually open. We really love this store, filled with so many really unique items. Built around 1911, this place has been a hotel, a dry goods store, and now, since 1993, a restaurant serving all locally sourced food. We were charmed by the art on the walls, the cloth napkins, the Hawaiian quilt menus, 
and the food. Great food. And Wendy says, Aloha, Parker. Have you ever driven an hour and a half just for lunch? Well, we did. And boy, <laughs> did it pay off. Tell us about what you got, Harry. I got the uh, Thai coconut shrimp with sticky rice. And your drink? A guava smoothie. It was really good. Very good. So, and I got a new turn on a Cuban. So I love Cuban sandwiches. They called it an Aloha Cuban and it was on Hawaiian bread and so good. So we had a wonderful time. See, the food is definitely worth the drive up to Hawi and the Bamboo Restaurant. Mom wanted ice cream and we found a wonderful place right down from Bamboo called Our Founding Farmers. We highly recommend both places. We had wanted to go out to Polalu Lookout, but we ran out of time. We had big plans and a time schedule to keep. So we made our way back to Kailua Kona. But if you get the chance, I can tell you the lookout is gorgeous and worth taking the extra time to go out and see. We just didn't have time this trip. Hi there, so yesterday, it got a little too late to finish up our day. So we thought we would talk to you and catch you up today. So last night I took a snorkel excursion with Kona Style and I went out and I snorkeled with manta rays and it was truly incredible. It was, it was amazing. Harry met up at the shop which is located right across the street from the marina. The boat they use is a catamaran that has easy stairs to go right down into the water so it's easy to get in and out of the boat. Take it off, get ready to leave. So heading out going to do manta rays, snorkel with the manta rays tonight. It's about a 30 minute trip out. I'm going to show you a little bit of the coast as we're going out and then hopefully get some good shots of the manta rays when I'm actually snorkeling. <laughs> they even have a rate you can pay to just go out on the boat if you want to hang out with your friends or family and not swim with the rays which is about half price. I get seasick easily, so mom and I went to do a bit of shopping in downtown Kona instead. We loved the look of the Kona Inn and decided it would be a great place to have dinner and catch the sunset. But we had shopping to do after picking up souvenirs for us all, including a stop at Hilo Hatties. We came upon these parrots. My Aunt Shirley loves them, so we just had to stop so we could share them with her. Love you, Aunt Shirley. Now, back to Harry and the manor ways. The, the one thing that was, you know, kind of popped out at first was, you know, my, my expectation, and that's where you get in trouble, setting expectations, but... My expectation was that we were going to be floating above them. So you kind of float on this floating board that has lights on it and you kind of go Superman style and you just float there and they put a pool noodle under your ankles. So you're just floating on top of the water. And I figured, you know, 10, 15 feet down, there'd be manta rays and we'd be looking at them. And got into the water and they come up and they're three inches from your face. I actually got brushed by a couple um, where they actually came up and, 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 you know, swam upside down and rubbed against my belly. It was, it was truly incredible. Manta rays are totally harmless, unlike sting or devil rays. And their spots are like fingerprints. So the crew were able to point out the regulars to everyone. Manta is Spanish for blanket or cloak. So the name totally makes sense. Um, I don't do boats. That whole thing, the, just the idea of it makes me feel like weird in my stomach. But I knew it was something that he was going to love. And sure enough. Sure did. 
So take a look, here we go. They are very social creatures, so the swimmers were encouraged to cheer as a way to invite the rays to keep swimming in that area. But you're not allowed to touch them. They can touch you, but you had to keep your hands off of them for their protection. Um, it's something that if you can, you know, do it and you get out here to Kailua Kona, I would recommend it. It was, it was a bucket list type of thing that I didn't know was on the bucket list. Harry said watching the rays feed on the krill and come up so close to them was simply mesmerizing. What an experience. At this moment, it's about $140 to $160, depending on which company you go with. We recommend Kona style because it was just flawless. Everything was fantastic. The ride out was nice. Um, the way they handle, handled the rays. They do warn everybody that there may not be any. And right. if so, then you have a chance to try to jump on another trip while you're there. Um, but we got, I got lucky. <laughs> you got, I got really lucky. lucky. We had talked to a few others and they'd only seen a few rays at one time. And they estimated between 10 and 12 for Harry's trip. Amazing. they would literally get up close and personal right into his face touching his face zooming along his face it's pretty intense manta rays have babies every other year it is one of the reasons their population is so low fishing nets and environmental changes have decreased the numbers and the slow birth rate can't keep up there are only a few places in the world where you can swim with them so if you get a chance to have this experience we highly recommend it. Truly special. You know, I know a lot of people say, oh, the video doesn't do it justice. This really didn't do it justice. You'll get an idea of how, how incredible it was, but I recommend if you get out here, do it yourself. All right, so today we are off on a new adventure. We are headed to Volcanoes National Park. You're gonna see that in the next video. For now, take care, safe travels, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We do hope you'll hit that thumbs up button and subscribe so you can follow along. See you next time.